Hi everyone, Lacey and Broody again from History with Cats, and we're here today with the second medieval ghost story from the monks at Byland Abbey. Now this is a really rich ghost story that's pretty hard to condense into two minutes and ten seconds, but we'll try. So it is about a man who's a tailor named Snowball, who was just trying to ride his horse home one night when he unfortunately encountered a pretty pesky ghost who took a couple different forms. He was the shape of a raven with fire coming out of the side, and he was also in the shape of a dog. So Snowball asked the ghost what he needed and how Snowball could help, and the ghost told him that he had been a man who had sinned during his life and had been excommunicated by a particular priest, and that he needed Snowball to go find this particular priest to get an absolution so that he could move on. Now, we unfortunately aren't given very many details. We don't know the man's name and we don't know exactly what he did. And scholars think that this is probably because he was a local man whose family might not have appreciated his name popping up in a ghost tale after his death. But what we do know is that Snowball was given two options. He was told that either he could help the ghost and come back alone and report back to the ghost about his successes or his flesh would rot and his skin would dry up and fall off. So pretty easy choice for Snowball. He decided to help the ghost and he did just that. He went to York, he found the priest that the ghost had told him he needed to find. And the priest was pretty reluctant to issue an absolution, which means that the ghost probably did something pretty bad during his life. But eventually he did issue it and he told Snowball that he needed to take the absolution written on a piece of parchment and bury it at the head of the body of the ghost. And Snowball did. Then he went back, armed with the four Gospels, the name of Jesus Christ, and four reliquaries to protect him from other ghosts that were told resided in that area. And he found the ghost that he had tried to help. Now, the ghost appeared first in the image of a female goat, and then eventually shifted into a really horrifying image looking like the three dead kings. But he thanked Snowball for his work and moved on.